If you're going for a full restoration and have the car completely stripped to the chassis, I highly recommend using a rotisserie like this one. You can attach it to the car in the front and rear, and then you can freely spin the car around and lock its position how you like it. It's perfect for all the work under the car like removing the undercoating, bodywork, blasting and also painting. The rotisserie itself is a pretty simple device. It has a long hydraulic jack to lift up the whole chassis and change the height of the pivot point of the rotisserie. This one also has a spindle with a crank. By turning you can adjust the distance between the mounting points on the car to the pivot point of the rotisserie. Means you can balance the car, so the center of mass will be on the pivot point. If the car is perfectly balanced on the rotisserie, you need no force to spin it and it will stay in any position if you let go. It's very important to choose a solid spot on the chassis to mount the rotisserie. Usually the bumper mountings are pretty solid. That's also the case on my 240Z. In the front I'm going to mount it directly on the outside of the frame rails. This will be rock solid. In the rear I'm also attaching it to the bumper mounting points. This is also where the frame rails meet the chassis. The mounting point is just below the frame rail on this bracket with the three holes. This spot is not as solid as the one in the front but still solid enough to carry the weight of the chassis and there's also a cross connection right above it. Now I just need to build a proper connection from the chassis to the rotisserie. It needs to be mounted to the mentioned spots on the chassis and also on these square tubes from the rotisserie. I'm using this material to build the connection pieces. First I'm going to drill all the holes. And of course remove all the sharp edges. I'm putting the pieces together and put on some tack welds, before welding it completely. For the connection to the rotisserie I'm welding on two nuts. Ok, that was the rear pieces done. Now let's make the front pieces. Ok, that's a little embarrassing. I drilled this second hole in the wrong spot. Let's go back to the drill press. Now it looks better and I can attach it with two screws to the chassis. Then I can slide in the rotisserie and tighten the two connection pieces with four screws. And also do the same in the rear. Push the brake on the rotisserie and then attach the connection piece under the car.
The rotisserie is now fully attached and ready to be lifted. With the help of a friend you can now lift the chassis from the jack stands using the hydraulic jacks from the rotisserie. Once you're high enough you can put the locking pin in, tighten the two set screws, remove the jack stands and try to turn the car. Now you will see how well balanced the car is and if it needs any adjustments. The center of mass is still too low in my case. I can adjust that by turning the crank. I needed to adjust the distance for two holes. Now it looks much better. The car is now well balanced and spins freely. I've just noticed that the connection pieces in the rear are hanging down a bit. I quickly customized them by shortening the square tube, welding on a new nut and also reinforced the square tube with this angle iron. After putting everything back together, I realized that it's still hanging down a bit. I think this spot is just not 100% rock solid like the one in the front. But I think for the bodywork and painting it should be solid enough. Otherwise you would need to build a structure to reach the rear axle mounting points. And if they are so long, I'm not sure how solid these will be. Thanks for watching.